Hello everyone, I'm Christy Lynn. When you first get your, your very first harp, or maybe you've just started harp lessons, one of the first things you'll be asking yourself is, how do I tune this thing? So I'm making a video aimed at beginners where I'm gonna take you step by step through the process of learning to tune for the first time. And my sister Megan is gonna be helping me. She's got an extra camera that's gonna be having a little look at a different angle as I take you step by step through the tuning. The first thing I wanted to say is that you should tune your harp often, especially if you get a new harp and it's adjusting to the climate of your home, you're probably going to want to tune every few hours, but later on you'll want to tune your harp every time you play, maybe once a day. And if you play your harp a lot, sometimes you'll even need to tune it within a session of playing. <laughs> it just depends on when your harp is going out of tune. And um, then I wanted to mention that you should be tuning your harp in open tuning with all the levers down or if you're a pedal harp, you'll tune with your levers up in the upright position. I mean the upmost position. <laughs> Pedals, did I say levers? Mm. Oh man, anyway. So you wanna have nothing engaged here. And that's just because then once you've tuned, it's gonna keep the tuning better rather than having some of the tension of your tuning happening just, bef just in that little section before the lever is engaged. And I'm going to be tuning in C major today because that's the easiest way to tune and the easiest way to understand what the, the electronic tuner is telling us. But I normally tune in E flat major, so if you want me to do a video of how to tune in E flat major, then just let me know. So let's get started. I normally start tuning from the lowest string of the harp, working closer and closer towards myself, and I tune sitting down. Um, but you might want to stand up while you're tuning, you can kind of see things a bit better. And um, the reason I start from the bottom and work up is because I find that if you start at the top of the harp and work down, then by the time you change these lowest notes, they're really gonna change the tension that's pulling on your harp, and it's kind of gonna move the wood a little bit and end up making your top strings out of tune. So that's why I start from the bottom and work up. But today, I'm just gonna do this middle octave because it will be easier for Megan to see, and we're not gonna tune the whole harp on camera. So what we're gonna do, the process of tuning is, we have this tuning wrench, they can look a little different, but this is the important part that this matches your harp. So it should be the tuning wrench that came with your harp or one that is this, works on the same model. And that fits onto the tuning pin at the back here. So you can see that hole just slots onto there. And then we're gonna be moving this backwards and forwards. If you turn the, the tuning wrench away from you, the harp gets sharper, the note gets sharper. If you turn it towards you, the note gets more flat. So let's have a look at this tuner. When I pluck the string, you can see that's a C, but the C is, look, have a look. It should be in the middle of the note if it was in tune. So this means that it's flat when, when we're to the left of the C. So what I'm gonna do is move my tuning range just a little bit further oh, turning it away from me to make it sharper. So I'm going to pluck the note and then I'm going to turn just a little bit away from me as the note is sounding. Now you can see it's a little closer to the center. I'm going to do it again. There we go. So now it should be in tune and let's just check. Yep, now it's in tune. So that's how we do it. And we're going to work up the harp. Now let's just check this next one. I think it's going to be sharp because I pre-planned all of this. It's a D, but it's too sharp. So in this case, we're going to be moving the tuning wrench towards us. So I'm going to pluck and tune towards me. Like that. Now let's have a look at what's happening on the tuner. See it moving it's in tune. It doesn't have to be exactly on the center, it's okay if it's slightly off, um, but we want to kind of aim for the center of the note. Now let's do the next one. So now we're going to be doing the E. So again, we're going to pluck and then tune. The reason for that is sometimes you end up with your tuning wrench on the wrong string and then you're going to be tuning and tuning and tuning and nothing happens and then you realize that you've been tuning the 
the wrong string too much and you might actually be at risk of snapping that string because you've made it really sharp. Um, so that's a very bad thing. You want to make sure that you've plucked the string and then you see it moving as you turn. On your tuner you're going to see that moving. Um, and if it's not moving, then have a look and make sure that you're actually on the right note. So how do you know which note is the right note? Come and have a closer look here. Here is my C string and right across from it is the tuning pin for C. This next one is going to be D, tuning pin for D. And what I actually do because I'm sitting here is I do it by feeling. So I'll start with with the note and then if I want to move on to the next note I just feel with my thumb and then move the tuning range to the next note because um, I can't always see that clearly when I'm sitting down but when you're standing up you'll be able to see it from the top like that and it's a lot clearer. Now um, let's just do one more note together okay it's just a little bit sharp Now we're in tune. So you're going to keep on doing that for all the notes on your harp and eventually it should be in tune. If you find that um, if your harp is really new you might find that by the time you finish tuning some of the beginning notes are out of tune again but don't get too stressed by that. It is normal when your harp is still settling down to being in a new climate. Another thing to mention is that as you're tuning that note if you're finding that it keeps on slipping back to where it was before you can just put a bit of pressure on that string pushing it kind of into the harp pushing that that tuning pin into the harp with your right hand here so that it's kind of making that pin go further into the harp as you're tuning it and that will make it a little bit more secure the last thing is i want to just mention this tuning app it's called pano tuner and i used to tune with an ele electronic tuner and a, a snark tuner which is a really great tuner but i found after a while that i always have my phone with me and this tuning app works perfectly fine and it's free of charge so if you're starting for the first time i would say don't even bother going with an electronic tuner just just download this tuning app and you'll be ready to go um, the one advantage uh, or disadvantage of using a tuning app like this is if you're in a crowded place and it's quite noisy, your, um, your app might or your phone might struggle to pick up the signal, which also happens with tuners when they're just working by a microphone, um, compared to when you're using something that works by vibration and you actually plug it in. But that hasn't been too much of a problem for me. If I find the tuner isn't picking up the notes too well, I just hold my, um, come and have a look at the back here, Megs. I hold my tuner closer to the back of my harp and then I tune there. So I might even put it down on my lap and um, and then tune like that with it there because then it, he it hears the um, the note right from the sound hole so that's also a useful tip if um, you're tuning in a crowded place but the majority of the time you're probably going to be tuning at home and this app will be absolutely perfect for you if you want to take this further, I'm going to be doing a live stream on my Patreon page where we have a virtual harp circle. Some harpists meeting together and talking about the topics from my harp help videos. So if you're a new harpist and you're not so sure about tuning, make sure you get in on that. Go and check out my Patreon. There are so many resources for harpists and it's a wonderful community. So I hope to see you over there. And if this is your first time watching one of my videos, then welcome. I'm so glad to have you here and I hope you stick around. So make sure you subscribe because I put up a new video every Thursday and I'll see you again next week. Bye.